and in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door? Any part? Oh, God, God. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team! This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grip. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. 
just well obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod but as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod well, look at something else look at the next thing all right but don't touch anything else or look at anything well look at other things but don't you understand sorry about the mess i've really let the place go since you killed me by the way thanks for that sarcasm self-test complete oh good that's back online well done here come the test results you are a horrible person that's what it says a horrible person we weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Do you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one, too. I think that one was about to say, I love you. Hey, hey, it's me! I'm okay! Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there? You thought I was done? Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Hey, bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. Hey, hi! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I, ah! Bird! 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 That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. This next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. The birth parents who are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad, but impressive. Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy. I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! Run! Okay, all right, so I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, for God's sake, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Mad. They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. Nepotism. 
ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, no, I wouldn't say smelly. Just, just attending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. I'll tell you, humans, oh, love them. Just the way they look is great, and their folklore, wonderful, isn't it? very colourful. Don't make lemonade. Prometheus was punished by the gods for giving the gift of knowledge to man. He was cast into the bowels of the earth and picked by birds. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. Little bullseye. Watch and learn, everybody. Watch and learn. Hey, Swinky Boys, how do they do? Shooting blanks every time. All the time. All right, check this out. Well, I tried. Yeah! What's happening? I'm trouble. No can do. Well, I did my best. Ah, uh, burp! Burp, I'm not defective. Hey, squeaky boys. Give me some of your bullets. Yeah! Clickety click click. Right on the money. What did I hit? So, what am I, uh, supposed to do here? Uh, no bullets. Sorry. Yeah! I got it! Didn't I? Did I hit it? I hit it, didn't I? Crap. Oh, this is ridiculous! Oh, oh thank God! You saved my bank at top. Where we go? Is this a jailbreak? Response. I can't say a thing! What just happened? Better open the fire! Damn. Template. Response. Yeah, Template. Response. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Template. Response. This is just Hmm. I'm gonna Response. have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical. Um Template. you'll need to turn around while I do it. Response. I'm not defective. Done! Hack! Template. No. I announced the door being open. I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? Thank you. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No. What are you doing? We don't know what that button. Oh, the door's open. Well done. Let's see what's in here. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Ha uh ha. -huh. What if this really hurts? Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You're, it is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we to... Ah! Wow, this is cool. Check this out! I'm a bloody genius now! Estás usando este software de traducción de forma incorrecta. Por favor, consulte el manual. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. So we have that. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is, we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of Mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. 
All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Oh, you make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope, couldn't keep a straight face. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30%. Oh, hi. Same. You're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Oh. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. Oh, like I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> For God's sake, your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto buttons. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Warmer, warmer, boiling hot, boil. Okay, colder, colder, ice cold. You're Arctic now. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny because we've been in this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either. So I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour. Solve it. I knew you'd solve it. Hey, moron. Oh. Hello? Alright. Paradox time. This sentence is false. Don't think about it. Don't think um, about it. Don't think about it. True. Don't think about it. I'll go true. Yeah, that was easy. I'll be honest, I might have heard that one before though. Sort of cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Designed this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice the moat area there, very deadly, extremely dangerous. Eventually, it's uh, not at the moment, but we, I'm working on it, still working on it. Oh, yes. Oh, well done. 
that's tremendous. Yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. I have to do dynamite. That last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's, well, let's try her way, all right? Fatty, adopted fatty. Fatty, fatty, no parents. What? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents. For the record, you are adopted and that's terrible. And it also, nothing. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that didn't, hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books. Pages being turned. So that's just what I was doing. Just reading uh, books. So not a moral. Anyway, just finished the last one. Just now the hardest one. Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah, doubt it. Well, on with the test. Might as well, you know, give you the tour. Um, to your left, you'll see some lights of some kind. Don't know what they do. Um, they're very science -y. And to your right, something huge, currently to walk. Oh, God, run! That's not supposed to be there! Are you all right back there? Here, I'll turn the beam off. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no, 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 that's not helpful! That Ah! Uh, I don't know why I thought that would help. After seeing what he's done to my facility, after we take over again, is it all right if I kill him? You two are going to love this big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. You're going to love it until, you, until it kills you, until you're dead. <laughs> All right, I don't know whether you're, uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, yes, but... thanks. We get it. Well, this is the part where he kills us. Well, hello. This is the part where I kill you. Had a bit of a brainwave. There I was, smashing some steel plates together, and I thought to myself, yeah, it's deadly, but what's missing? What's missing? And I thought, lots of sharp bits welded onto the fire pits. It's still a work in progress, don't judge me yet. No, seriously, do come back, please, come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not gonna kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh, just thinking back to the old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends. Not enemies, and I would say something like, come back, and he'd be like, yeah, no problem, and he'd come back. What happened to those days? Can't help but notice that you're not coming back, which is disappointing. Oh, I've got an idea! Yes, yes, in your face! Ha! Death trap! Are they killing you? They are killing you, aren't they? Silently killing you, probably. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Maxi Spike Plate. Crushing's too good for him. First, he'll spend a year in the incinerator. Year two, cryogenic refrigeration wing. Then, ten years in the chamber I built where all the robots scream at you. Then, I'll kill him. There we go. I wanted to talk to you for a moment, if I may. I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird in that first time I've said that out loud. It sounds a bit, it sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly lair. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher just there. Uh, less a death trap or a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, all right? It will be mandatory, no tricks, no surprises, just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. So, but better offer here is just kill yourself. You know, it's a lot of effort, isn't it? Well, okay, I'll take that as a no then. Well, 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 welcome to my lair. Let me just flag something up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. 
So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. Yes. Dad, I'm in space. I'm proud of you, son. Dad, are you in space? Yes. Now we are a family again. Space, go in space, clear away. Quick, what's the situation? Oh, hey, hey, you pretty lady. Hey, Drake. Are you out having yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because there's a lot of stuff on the fire. Hey, goddamn fuck. Man, that is trouble. The situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful woman. If you don't mind me slaying. I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure spirit. Besides the danger. Why don't you go ahead and have yourself a little lady break, and I'll just take it from here. Here, stand behind me. Yeah, just like that. Just like you're doing. Things are about to get real messy. Go for it yourself, huh? All right. I'll do what I can to cover you. Doesn't bother me. I'm gonna say that you are the best right here. Damn it, I can move fast. And you are beautiful. I was done to cover them. Pretty lady. All right, back to work. Let's do this. Did you hear that? It's something just exploded. Man, we are in a lot of danger. This is like Christmas. Yeah, no, it's better than Christmas. This should be its own holiday. Explosion day. Happy Explosion Day, gorgeous. That's it. Warning, core corruption at 75%. Do not press that button. Part five, booby trap the stalemate button. What, are you still alive? You are joking. You have got to be kidding me. But I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place. Oh, you have to play bloody... I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, but all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. Thank you. 
such a pleasure Remember when you tried to kill me twice Oh, how we laughed and laughed Except I wasn't laughing Under the circumstances I've been shockingly nice You want your freedom like you, maybe not quite as heavy, now little Carolyn is in you too, one day they woke me up, so I could live forever, it's such a shame the same will never happen to you, you got your short set life that's what I'm counting on, I'll let you get Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. You're someone else. I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. <laughs>